Hello there, thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and boy oh boy, what a concert poster from the summer of 1964. In fact, not just the year, but the exact month that A Hard Day's Night was released to movie theaters. Just that the Beatles were at their absolutely crowning peak of Beatlemania worldwide. And what a spectacular poster from Stockholm, Sweden. Oh my goodness. And of course it's dominated by this amazing picture that takes up more than half of the poster. And then you've got this Dayglow orange Beatles, you know, with just a, <laughs> you know, which part dominates the poster? It's all great. It's just a masterpiece of an original vintage concert poster. Now remember, this was an advertising poster that was created for one reason only, and that was to sell tickets. So, it stands to reason there were fewer Beatles advertising concert posters from 1964 than any other year of their career. You know, advertising just wasn't needed in 64 at the height of Beatlemania. Just, you know, word of mouth would do it all. One DJ mention, one newspaper blurb, and the box office would be stampeded. So you can forget about concert posters from England and America during 64. There's virtually nothing, although sometimes a promoter would make a vanity concert poster. That was a good idea if he hung on to them, but they weren't really needed to sell out. But Sweden, on the other hand, had a fraction of the population that England and American did, and they, the promoter had 34,000 tickets they had to sell. So that's right, this was an ice hockey rink that held 8,500, and there were four shows. So, um, matter of fact, all four shows at the end of the day at Showtime had not sold out, just two of them. So this poster was very much needed around Stockholm and Sweden. So this poster, once again dominated by this magnificent photo, still from 1963, with their collarless jackets, which just, you know, screams innocence, which we just so much love. I just can't overstate how stunning it is to have this photo on a concert poster. It's just, you know, usually if you got a picture of the Beatles at all, you got head shots, maybe head and shoulder shot, or the uh, floating heads that England used a lot. But to get the Beatle boots, right, in their picture with full head-to-toe body shots, boy, that's just crazy. And, and this photo has so much personality with them looking in all different directions, right? So much, like, subtle action with only Paul looking at Diesel Hoffman's camera. And the size of this picture? My goodness, in American terms, a jumbo concert poster is considered 22 by 28 inches. Uh, well, guess what? <laughs> That's the size of just this picture, 22 by 28. So let's see if I can get in there and show you a slightly closer look at it. Boy, I'll tell you, for us first-generation Beatle fans, just the memories invoked by this particular photo session you know, it's the same session that produced pictures where we were so used to in our youth that we used for the picture sleeves for I Want to Hold Your Hand on Capitol and She Loves You on Swan Records and the back cover of the Meet the Beatles album. And what's really interesting is, you know, John has such a dominant place and pose in the picture because, of course, he was their de facto leader. Paul, gosh, he's positively meek by comparison. And while I'm zoomed in, let's take a quick look at the gorgeous bottom half here. Four colors at play. You've got black and white, green, and that stunning fluorescent orange. And then also while I'm here, take a look at that tiny printer's credit down in the extreme lower right-hand corner by the 9 and 29. You probably can't make it out, but it's just one word that says screen graphic. So, looking at the wording on this, besides the incredible word, the Beatles, with that exclamation point, you do have down the lower left, turned on its side there, IAB Artist, which is probably the concert promoter. And then in green, you've got the venue and the city. Eastodian is the venue, and Johanneshof is the section of Stockholm in which the concert took place. You know, you just gotta love this localized advertising, right? There's no mention of Stockholm needed, let alone the country of Sweden. <laughs> just the section of Stockholm in which the venue is located. And the dates on there in the lower right, July 28th and 29th, certainly with no year needed to be given. And there were two shows each night with the times given in what Americans call military time, 
used much more commonly in Europe, 1845 and 2200, which of course was 645 and 10 p.m. Oh boy, wow, this is just something else. This poster, by the way, measures about 27 inches wide by almost 40 inches tall. And as for the music the Fab Four is producing, always one of my favorite parts, you know. Well, forget the month and year. This was the very week, okay, that the Beatles' newest single, A Hard Day's Night, reached number one on Billboard's Hot 100 music chart. And their stunning new album, A Hard Day's Night, which was a different configuration, of course, on both sides of the Atlantic, had been out for just a couple of weeks and was zooming up to the number one position. And the movie, as I mentioned at the top of the video, had just premiered earlier this month. Oh man, it just doesn't get any better. Wow. So, but it's all art, isn't it? And so I have to qualify and say it's all just in my humble opinion. <laughs> but if you're a Beatle fan and you've gotten this far, I know you're on the same page as I am. And what a beautiful, stunning concert poster. And look what happens when that day-glow orange is put under a black light. Oh man, holy Toledo. You know, the black light craze hadn't really taken hold yet by 1964. That would blossom pretty much during the psychedelic poster era a few years later. But the day-glow inks had certainly been developed. And boy, is it illustrated by this stunning example. Look at that. No trickery here. This is a picture I took of the poster I'm showing you under a purple blacklight. Ah, deep breath. Thanks a lot for coming by. Great fun to show you this. And I look forward to seeing you again for something soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.